Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of multinomial expansion. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us, let a plus bx plus cx square, the whole raised to 10, is equal to summation of i equals 0 to 20, pi and x raised to i, where it's telling us a, b and c belongs to natural numbers n. And the question further tells us if p1 is 20 and p2 is 210, the question is asking us to find the value of 2 times a plus b plus c. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, they are 15, 8, 6 and 12. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's solve for this question and see the answer that we get here. So first idea, I need to expand this entire thing. And that is nothing but more than two terms. And when I have that, I cannot apply the idea of binomial theorem. And when I cannot apply the idea of binomial theorem, I will use the idea of a multinomial theorem. And that tells us that I can find the expansion of this entire expression a plus bx plus cx square, the whole raised to 10 with the formula that tells us summation of three constants I'm taking k1, k2, k3 for a, bx and cx square. Sum of that has to be equal to the power that is 10. Then we have our factorials where it is the power factorial over whatever may be the value of k1. So k1 factorial, k2 factorial, k3 factorial. So that is our entire expansion. And further, we have our terms as a, the first term raised to k1, the second term raised to k2, and the third term raised to k3. So this is how you get the expansion of this multinomial theorem. Now, we need to just find the coefficients of x1 and x squared because I have been given p1. So with p1, I will have i as 1. So that gives me x raised to 1. And for p2, if I do, I have my x raised to power 2. So we just need to find the coefficients of x raised to 1 and x squared. So let's do that. So if I need, let's say, x raised to 1 as my term. So for x raised to 1, I know I will get x raised to 1 here only. Here, if I put k3 as something, I will get x square with it. Right? So for that, I know that my power of k2 should be only 1. So that I have only bx. And I don't need x square here for x raised to 1 term. So I'll keep k3 as 0. So once I keep k3 as 0, this entire thing turns 1. And this, if I'm putting k2 as 1, this becomes bx. And I already got this term x raised to 1. So I understand that sum of the 3 has to be 10. And out of that, if k2 is 1 and k3 is 0, I get k1 plus 1 plus 0 is 10. And from there, I can get k1 becomes 9. So for x raised to 1 term, which I need for the x term, I know k1 is 9, k2 is 1, and k3 is 0. Now, once I know that I have k1 as 9, k2 as 1, and k3 as 0, if I substitute that in this, I get my term with P1. So P1 into X raised to 1 because we are getting that X raised to 1 as my term. We get that as when we put K1 as 9. So you get 10 factorial over 9 factorial, 1 factorial, 0 factorial. A raised to K1. So that gives you A raised to K1 which is 9. right? So you get yeah A raised to 9. And you get bx raised to 1 and cx square raised to 0. So you get your first term that is p1 x raised to 1 is equals to 10 factorial over 9 factorial into 1 factorial into 0 factorial into a raised to 9 into bx. Now once I have, and this is 1 basically. So I get my first term p1 x is equals to 
10 into 9 factorial over 9 factorial into 1 factorial. This is also 1. So 1 factorial, this is also 1. 9 factorial gets cancelled. You get a raised to 9bx. And if I compare both sides, I can cancel my x also here. So I get p1 as 10 a raised to 9. So that becomes my value of p1. And I know 10 a raised to 9b is equals to p1 where p1 in this case, it was given to me as 20. So I get a raised to 9 into b is equals to 2. So this is my first equation which I get. Now let's solve for the second term which has been given to us that is P2. So for that I will need x square as my term. Now let's find out how do I get x square from this. So for x square if I solve here only let's see. So for x square as my term I can have x square when k2 becomes 2. So if I have k2 as it will give x raised to 2 which is x square and in that case k3 should turn out 0 and in that case then k1 will turn out 10 minus 2 minus 0 so that is 8. This is one case where I can have it otherwise if I put k3 also as 1 I get x square raised to 1 which is x square so I can get x square term with that as well so k3 can be 1 but if k3 is 1 then k2 has to be 0 because I'm getting x square here only. And if k2 is 0, I'll again get k1 as 10 minus 1, which is 9. So for x square term, we have two cases for the values of k1, k2, k3. So let's find your x square term now. So for x square as my term, case 1, I have k1 as 8, k2 as 2 and k3 as 0. So if I put that, k1 is 8. So 10 factorial over 8 factorial into 2 factorial into 0 factorial. Further, this entire thing becomes a raised to k1. So a raised to 8, bx raised to k2 which is 2 and c x square raised to 0. So you get your case 1 turning out to give you the coefficient as 10 into 9 into 8 factorial which cancels with this 8 factorial and 2 factorial becomes 2 into 1 and 0 factorial is 1. You get a raised to 8 p square x square and this becomes 1. So you get your term to make it 2 fives. So 5 into 9 which is 45. So you have 5 into 9, 45, a raised to 8, b square, x square. This is from the case 1. If I solve for case 2, there you have k1 as 9 and k3 as 1. So 10 factorial over 9 factorial into 0 factorial into 1 factorial. a raised to 9, b, x, 0 and c, x square we have it with 1. So your term becomes... 10 factorial I can write as 10 into 9 factorial so you are left with only 10 here over 1 factorial and this is also 1 so you get 10 a raised to 9 this becomes 1 and here you get c x square so I know that both of these terms give you x square so I add both of these cases so 45 a raised to 8 b square x square plus 10 a raised to 9 c x square. So if I take out x square common I get 45 8 a raised to 8 b square plus 10 a raised to 9 c x square that is nothing but equal to p2 x square. So I cancel this and from here I get p2 as 45 a raised to 8 b square plus 10 a raised to 9 c and p2 in this case is given to me as 210. So I'm just substituting that. So I get 45 a raised to 8 b square. 10 a raised to 9 c is equal to 210. This becomes my equation. Two. So you have both the equations 1 and 2. Now let's solve for that. So if I solve for this first. I have been told in the question that. 
A, B, and C belongs to natural numbers. When it is told to me A, B, and C belongs to natural numbers, if I solve for this, I need to find the values of A and B, and the product of them should turn out to. So from here, I understand when it is A raised to 9, any natural number greater than 1, when it is raised to 9, it won't give you 2. Right? Because B also has to be a natural number. So the only value of A that satisfies here to give you as 2 would be 1. So 1 raised to 9 will turn out 1. And to make this product 2, I should have the value of B as 2. So that gives me the answer as 2. So when A, B, C belong to natural number, I understand A has to be 1 and B has to be 2. Now once I have A and B with me, I can just find C putting that in this equation. So 45, 1 raised to 8, 2 squared. 10, 1 raised to 9c is equals to 210. That gives you 45 into 4, which is 180. 180, and you get 10c is equals to 210. From here, you get 10c is equals to 30, and c becomes 3. So with that, you have all the three values, a1, a2, c3. Now, once you have that, the question is asking you to find the value of the expression that is 2 times a plus b plus c. So 2 times 1 plus 2 plus 3. And that gives you 2 times 6, which is 12. So you get the answer for the question which is asked to us here. And that matches with option D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this question using the idea of multinomial theorem. So you just need to know the formula for this that the expression or the expansion of this entire expression raised to 10, it's given by summation of the three constants added to 10. Then 10 factorial over k1, k2 and k3 each has a factorial. Then the first term raised to k1, second term raised to k2 and third term, third term raised to k3. Then we had been given that coefficients of x1 is 20 and coefficient of x2 x raised to 2 is 210. So we just figured out when will we get x raised to 1 and when will we get x raised to 2. So we got for x raised to 1 term 1 case with k1, k2, k3 values. So from that I got p1 as 10 a raised to 9b and when I equated that I got a as 1 and b as 2. Then I found out for x square term I had two cases. I solve for both of those two cases and I got again the power of x square and with that I got the coefficient that was nothing but p2 and I equated with that with 210 I put the values of a as 1 and b as 2 and got the value of c as 3. So I got the values of a, b and c and once I got that I just found the value of the expression that they were looking for in the question and that if you see matches with option so D becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the formulas of multinomial theorem. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do support on my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. See you again tomorrow with one other video. Thank you.